As we come for the celebration of the Mass, we ask God's blessing on us all, and we ask the Lord to strengthen us. Here we are on this Thanksgiving week, and as we gather in prayer, we have many, we have much to be grateful for, particularly the gift of life, and how the importance of recognizing of the importance of where we are, where we have been, and where we hope to go. You know, Jesus tells us the importance of following him. In the first reading, Jesus is certainly noted as a king and will come at the end of time to judge the living and the dead. And he is a just judge. He's the heavenly balancer, full of justice, but full of mercy. And we rely on his mercy to give us strength, encouragement, so that when we fail, we have recognition that in this life, we present ourselves to Jesus in that great sacrament of reconciliation of penance, confession, where we are forgiven of sin. And the Lord's absolution is not partial, but it is complete and it is full. And so we take advantage of a sacrament of God's mercy. The Eucharist also a sacrament of forgiveness. And as we come as a people remembering our past, we remember our past as a nation, we remember our past as a civilization of people throughout the world, and asking the Lord to bless us and have us hopefully have an opportunity to reflect on where we have been, where we hope to go as a nation, as a people of the world community, and as individuals. You know, Jesus wants us to go to heaven, and he gives us all of the tools necessary, and it's up to you and me that we use the tools that he has given to us for our own good and for the good of all humanity. Well, in our parish at Our Lady Comforter of the Afflicted, there are many people who know the history of the parish in terms of how it was built and the people of yesterday. One of our parish historians, Jim Gallagher, and he's, as he reflected on the parish, the parish was built years ago because of the hospitals that used to line Trapello Road in great number. And thus, the Cardinal at the time gave the parish the name Comforter of the Afflicted. And we all need to be comforted. In some way, we are afflicted in some way. And the healer is Jesus the heavenly healer, and to rely on him for the strength necessary in the healing sacraments to strengthen us in our journey, such as the Eucharist, again, sacrament of penance, anointing of the sick, sacraments to be used, sacraments for our benefit as we praise God and ask God's blessing on us all as we journey in faith and rejoice in the blessings that God has given to each one of us and to the blessings he has given to us to the church so that those sacraments, those gifts, may be used for his glory and his honor. And so as we come on this day and any day to worship the Lord, the Lord is with us. The Lord will never abandon us. And may we show the gratitude necessary to ask his blessing, dare to ask him for more blessings, and yet at the same time to acknowledge his greatness, his glory, to praise him, to adore him, and also to be thankful for the gifts that we have received and that we may be strengthened for the journey. God will never abandon us. May we never abandon God. And should we have done so? Well, we return in trusting in his mercy. And thus, we are in good stead, joining with all the angels and saints to give us support in this life and leading us to the glory of heaven.